there are not allegations of an affair, there are allegations of a crime. And um, I think that's shocking to all of us here who've sat with Matt for many, many years. Hoda and Savannah Guthrie right there struggling to gather their thoughts this morning on the Today Show. Now, earlier we told you about the new allegations leveled against Matt Lauer from a former colleague who claims in Ronan Farrow's new book that Lauer raped her. Joining me now is attorney Allison Treasel. And Allison, no criminal charges filed at this point yet. And what is the fact that Russia, where it happened, how does that play into okay, this? Okay, that's actually extremely important because if these allegations are true, it is a crime. But it is a crime that did not occur on U.S. soil. It is a crime that occurred in Russia. So the first question is, will Russia ever prosecute? Very unlikely. Less than 1% of rape cases are really ever reported or investigated. Certainly not prosecuted. So it's very unlikely that anything would happen in Russia. Can the U.S. file charges? Can the federal government? There are laws that allow if a U.S. citizen commits a serious crime abroad, and it is a U.S. victim, charges can be filed, but that's for extreme cases. We're talking about rape, uh, excuse me, we're talking about murder, we're talking about terrorism, we're talking about sexual allegations against minors, and those you do see. Here, I'm just not sure it's enough where they could actually bring a prosecution based on these facts because it is a he said, she said kind of situation. Speaking of he said, she said, Matt Lauer released a three-page open letter today. Yes. What was his vision with doing this? A defense. A de he's setting up his defense. Of course he is. This is a case where he's saying it's consensual. And you have to understand in a criminal case, if it is consensual, that is a complete defense. If they're able to consent. What does consensual mean in this case? He's saying consensual. She's saying that she had six shots of vodka and was drunk. So if, in fact, she was unable to consent due to intoxication, that may negate his defense, right? If she was unable to consent. Yeah. But here's a bigger picture. The relationship continued. Continued. And he said that, right? He said the relationship continued. So his argument is you have no rape kit here. You have no physical evidence of an actual crime. It's my word against hers. We continued this relationship after we left Sochi. That's my defense. This was a consensual encounter, a consensual relationship. What about the payout that she was given a seven-figure settlement by NBC? So it doesn't matter because, first of all, it was with NBC and it wasn't with him. But, and this is so important for people to know, no matter the size of the settlement, you can't silence a victim um, against coming forward. They still have a right to go to the police, to have a crime investigated, to have a, cr a crime prosecuted. You don't give away those rights. Allison Treasel, thanks so much for coming in. Of course. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.